Okay, in the last video, um, we made this graph here. I've added a few little things there because I need this to explain stuff, okay? Uh, but basically, what we're going to do here is we're going to figure out the step size. We want to figure out how big these little front areas are here. Notice that we have one, two, three, four, five, six. There's actually seven upward transitions. We already previously sort of threw out some data points on the side that just were like too tall. Okay, so I'm going to focus on this. Now, notice how there's a subtle bump there. There's a dramatic step down there, okay, um, for the highest point. Notice that there's two points here that I think we want to ignore, and then there's a point that's like partway up that we want to ignore for that guy, okay? So let's see if we can find that in our data. I'm going to look at this, right? So let's look at the, the top. You know, I'm ignoring the red line, right? Okay, but see how there's two, two little points right there? That's those two little points. So I don't think we want to use those points, right? And then there's, it shows one that's sort of a bump on the way up. Let's see if we can see that guy. Yeah, there it is, right? Okay. So I think we don't want to use that one or this one. I'm going to just use these guys, right? And so basically what I want to do is I want to get the average of this guy. So I'm going to go equals average, typing the word average, left parenthesis, and then I'm just going to select, whoops, I'm going to select, uh, this range here. I'm not sure exactly what happened there. Oh, it did something interesting. Okay. For some reason, my mouse jumped over. Okay, so I'm doing H4 through H12 is what it says right there. Let me just show you that. Whoa, I'm doing the average of that. Okay, and I'm going to hit enter. And there it is, right? There's my average of that. Okay, so that is uh, 1.54638. I'm just going to type this into my calculator. 1. 54638E minus 19. I'm going to store that in A. 54638. There we go. And then let's let's find the average of that other step there. Okay, so we got to find it. So let's take a look. Uh, I'm I'm saying that. Oh, look at that. It's got that. I don't think it's that one there. I think we're going to ignore that guy. So I'm just putting. This is just a red box. It's nothing famous about. Nothing special about this. But if you look, it, uh, it shows one that's almost to the level, one that's sort of doing a weird thing there. So let's look at that. Okay, almost to that level. And then legitimately, it looks like we should use all those points, doesn't it? Let's just see. Oh, oh, I know. We threw what we threw out these points when we made the graph. So they're not even on the graph. Okay, so let's find the average of these guys. Equals is the average of, whoa, there it's doing that thing again. Wow, don't do that. That is just funky. Okay. So I'm doing that. I think I've got it. Okay. Right parenthesis, enter. And there it is. I'm going to put this guy in my calculator. 1.24741e to the minus 18. I'm going to store that in B just for fun. I just need that because I need to, to go over. Okay. So there is my... Um, there are my averages. You want to average them. You want to find where those steps are, right? And then you want to um, you want to go into power. Whoa! What did I do? Let's go back to PowerPoint. Boy, I'm just barely. Oh, PowerPoint. Okay, I got to choose PowerPoint for the pretty little windows. Which one is it? It's this one. All right. Uh, don't go to the corner. There it is. Okay. So now let's let's get a, a pen. Let's go pen. I think it chooses my favorite color. What color is this? Ooh, no, it doesn't. That's a very bad color. Let's get the right color. Pen color? Blue. Or should we do red? I don't really know. Okay, so so this step right here, we're going to take this step here, right, and this step here. And what we've done in Excel is we've averaged those steps. This step here is um, 1.24741. E minus 18, and this step down here is 1.54638 E minus 19, right? Notice that there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven upward transitions. So I'm going to go high step minus low step over the number of, of upward, of up. The number of ups. <laughs> so I'm going to go 1.24741 E 
e minus 18, that's the high step here, right? Minus 1.54. e to the minus 19th, right? And then I'm just going to divide that by, there's seven upward steps, okay? So in my calculator, that's parentheses um, b, whoops, b minus a divided by seven. One point, okay, so I'm getting the, the, the step size, my, my e, according to simulation land, right, is is uh, one point, ignore that, what is that? 1.5611 times 10 to the uh, minus 19th coulombs. That's the average size of these steps, okay? Um, which, which is pretty good. We think it should be 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19th. So anything very close to that or with you know, two sig figs, right? That's pretty good. So that's that. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to do the uncertainty of this, okay?